Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. I even have my Captain Drone logo down here. Yeah, I'm a drone pilot, but I do fly RC planes. I love RC planes. I taught myself how to fly them last May, and I've been going nuts ever since. This is my first balsa wood RC plane. So I'm a little nervous about flying it because when balsa wood planes crash, they make this really bad sound. This, anyways, that's a whole other story. So this is the PT-19 or the Fairchild PT-19. It's a World War II trainer that was used by many different countries. The United States used it, Canada used it, as well as the UK. All balsa wood construction, so it does have a bit of weight to it and it looks so awesomely gorgeous. When you get it in the box, it's pretty much all assembled. It's one of the easiest planes you'll ever assemble, balsa wood anyways. You just put a few screws in the wings, put on the horizontal stabilizer, the vertical stabilizer, they all just lock into place, screw on the wheels, and uh, screw on the prop and you're all set throw in a battery and you're all good for batteries uh, you can fly it on a 6s or a 4s battery for these maiden flights since this is a maiden i'm just using a 4s 4000 lipo battery i don't know what the flight time is but i'm going to find out here i'm going to take it for my normal four minutes of flight for a maiden and then check the battery voltage after that i do love the fact that it's extremely spacious on the interior and that it has a wooden prop and that it just is the most gorgeous looking plane. You know, the blue and the yellow, it just pops. It does come with a 60 amp Avian ESC in it, but it does not come with a receiver. You have to put your own receiver in this model. So no big deal. I just threw a Spectrum receiver in this and uh, it hopefully flies great. There's not a lot of channels. Speaking of not a lot of channels, there's only ailerons, rudder, and elevators in the back. That's it, no flaps on this baby. So to get it up in the air, it needs the wind from the prop to give it some lift and then she will take off how long does it take to take off i have no idea this is a maiden how fast does it go i have no idea i don't have a gps on it anything like that i gotta quit asking myself all these questions because uh, we want to go fly so here we go okay beautiful morning to fly this there's nobody around except a lady out in the field with a dog so this should be really cool first things first let's put a battery in this baby for the battery i'm using is a 4000 milliamp hour 4s 30c lipo battery don't need a lot of power for this it does also work on a 6s battery so i could put a 4006s if i desired we're going to do a quick cg test before i hook up the battery and i've got the battery the 4000 i got the all the way to the nose so i think that's perfect right, battery's in there tight she's not sliding anywhere plug it in nice and tight there we go Next thing I want to do is put a little camera on the top of the plane. So this cool little thing here made out of balsa wood, I can actually, I think I can put a camera on there. So I'll just put some double-sided tape on it. There we go. We stick a little camera up here looking out over the wing. All right, guys, wish me luck. This is the maiden flight of the PT-19. I have never flown a balsa wood plane before. Here we go. Let's go down our bumpy runway and uh, put it up in the air and see how she flies. Hoping it flies well. It is balsa. Take it slow and give it some gas. We got her up. Small movements on the joysticks. Wow, wow. I think that's the operative word. It just flies incredible. Yes, I'm flying through the sun, which is typical for me. This flies really well so far. I'm doing tiny movements on the joysticks and it's reacting in a tiny movement type of way. It's just flying so beautifully. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is so cool. It sounds like it's got a little prop motor in it. I'm only at 50% here. I'm going to crank it to like 60% here. Get a little bit more speed. And through the sun again. I think I'm going to take a different path. Stay away from that sun. All right, this time here, I'm going to do like I like to do with these planes. I'm going to cut the throttle time a little bit. Four minutes. And I'm going to bring it down to me. Just so I can see it bypass me here, nice and slow. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. That is so cool. All right. Let's crank up the power. It's got a nice power uh, curve on it. In other words, you, meet, you leave the joystick at 50 and um, very little power, very slow flight. But as soon as you bounce it up past 60%, she goes. It's like there's an extra little power thing. Here, I'll bring it around and I'll show you. I'm going to come a lot faster power. There's full power. Look at it go. Wow. So you can do super slow flight and super fast flight. So let me bring it around, get it out of the sun. It almost reminds me of a crop duster the way it looks when it comes at you. Look at that. 
putt, 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 putt. <laughs> it's just like a little putt-putt sound as it goes. I'll be quiet next time so you can actually hear it. I'll do it again. Hey, got a sec. There we go. And now you'll hear it. I've got, whoa, 10% throttle, 10% throttle, not much. Listen to it. There we go. So now your question is, since this is a maiden, could a beginner fly this? The answer is yes, but I think you might be too nervous and you might crash it and then you might not be able to put it back together. So I would say if you're a beginner, make sure you've got a few other planes under the belt uh, and don't make this one your first one. So if you've flown, I don't know, two or three other planes, then you could definitely easily fly this with no problem. So here we go, going by. So landing this should be a dream as well. Oh, I know a lot of people want to see if it does uh, acrobats. I usually don't do acrobats on maidens, but here, I'll do it on this one. You'll see it from the onboard camera, not from my hat cam, because I have to go way up. There we are. And I'll just do little rolls. Mode two. There we are. Mode one. All right, I've set my timer for five minutes. And since this is a maiden, I usually always fly to about four minutes. So I'm at four minutes now. So I'm going to bring it down for a landing. It looks like it's a glider. I could be wrong. It's got no flaps, so I've killed the throttle now. So I've got it gliding back to me. It's doing a nice turn. I'm just letting it fall out of the sky as it wants to. And uh, there we are. I'm going to give it some flaring. Look at that. It didn't even nose over. Nothing. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my God. I tell you, if you don't have one of these and you fly RC planes, you have to get one. This thing is awesome. I'll disconnect the battery and we're going to go check the battery and see what we have for remaining uh, flight time. So if you're wondering how much does it weigh compared to a foam plane, it weighs quite a bit. Like to me, it's, it's got a lot of weight, but just the way the wings are designed, everything's perfection that uh, there's no weight when it flies. It doesn't fly heavy. It doesn't fly like a pig or a bag of nails. It really flies well. Okay, battery checker down here. So that was about a four and a half minute flight. And it says after four and a half minutes of flying, like I just did, I have 76% battery power remaining on this 4,000. So 76% is ridiculous. That means you can get 10 minutes of flight time using a 4,000 battery, yeah, 4S. Incredible. All right, so this is so awesome. I'm gonna do one more flight because I'm loving this plane. Now, after two weeks of owning the PT-19, I thought it might be a great idea to add an engine sound kit. Now, there are many sound kits on the market for the RC hobby, for cars, planes, boats, whatever you want, but I picked the one from ESS Air. It comes with two speakers and a programmable sound device that you can put any engine sound on it you wish. So that was the maiden flight of the PT-19 and it went superbly well. I am very much impressed with this plane. I, I think this is one of the most awesome planes around. So that's pretty much it. If you watch all my videos of RC planes, most of them are all maidens because that's all I do. I get a plane, I go fly it because I find maiden is the most thrilling for me and for you, the audience, because if a maiden goes wrong, then you get to see what happens when things go wrong. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put uh, links below to this plane. You can go check it out and see if it's the plane for you. I think it's pretty awesome and if you already own a pile of foam planes, propeller planes, then uh, this is one you got to get. You got to get a balsa wood plane. I'm probably going to get myself another balsa plane because I really enjoyed this one. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have questions on this plane, just post them below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up because there's many more videos like this. All right, guys, take care. Catch you in the next one. Bye.